The Equal Justice Initiative recently released a groundbreaking report on lynchings of African Americans in the United States and found that nearly 4,000 documented lynchings occurred between the years 1877 to 1950. While the gruesome incidents of murder are well established in our history books, the total number of African Americans lynched is about 700 higher than previously thought. But that's not all. Another grisly chapter in American history is the lynching of Mexicans. In numbers second only to African Americans, thousands of Mexicans were reportedly lynched in the late 1800s to early 1900s. With little remaining documentation, the lynchings of 547 Mexicans have been verified, but the true number stands likely much higher. My guest is William Carrigan. He's a chair and professor of history at Rowan University, author of The Making of Lynching Culture, Violence and Vigilantism in Central Texas, 1836 to 1916. Together with his collaborator Clive Webb, he's published numerous essays on the same topic, including Forgotten Dead, Mob Violence Against Mexicans in the United States, 1848 to 1928. Their op-ed in the Friday edition of the New York Times was entitled When Americans Lynched Mexicans. Welcome to Uprising. Thank you very much for having me. Now, who exactly was being lynched? Was, are we talking about Mexicans who were part of a migrant workforce or Latinos who were always here, those who had long come and gone over the border for generations? Were there Central Americans who were also lynched? Or were they just seen as part of the same group of people by white Americans? That's a good question. Um, we uh, decided to uh, just talk about Mexicans who were lynched because early on we discovered that uh, they were by far the, the greatest uh, uh, Spanish-speaking group that was, in fact, uh, lynched in our records, but that does not mean that there were not other Spanish speakers, in particular Chileans and Peruvians, uh, were also lynched, especially in the gold rush period. Um, in terms of their nationality, um, early on uh, in the middle of the 19th century, you know, all of the um, individuals would have been Mexican uh, citizens at one point in time, of course, uh, but then many were, of course, became U.S. citizens after the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. Uh, it is probably true, although the uh, evidence is very hard to get at, but it's probably true that most of the victims of lynching were poor, um, many of them laborers, um, which does not mean that uh, the, um, the, the whites who are intent on enacting mob violence were not interested in um, acquiring the property of, of wealthier landowners, but their uh, primary means to do so was uh, to attack the more, uh, the weaker and more vulnerable uh, laborers uh, for these wealthier mm -hmm. landlords.